The city of Denver has fined a landlord $999 for failing to get a rental license as required by their new law. But the landlord is saying that he never received notice that there was a fine or that he had to even get a license. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting article for you today, and it's coming out of Denver, Colorado, and it has to do with their new rental licensing law. Now, I've covered this law in particular before because, you know, it, it's quite interesting, some of the stuff that's going on in Denver right now. So right now, Denver, they're, they're finding landlords because, hey, they didn't get their, their license, and they want every landlord to get every single property license. In order to get licensed, you got to get it inspected. It can end up being a very, very large cost on landlords, a lot of hoops and hurdles you got to jump through. And it's not like they actually notified landlords that, hey, we passed this new law and you need to comply with it. No. So a lot of landlords, such as myself, we don't actually live in the states that we invest in real estate for, right? And so I have local property management in, uh, you know, when I am I near my properties where I invest out of state, but you know, uh, that doesn't mean that those property managers are necessarily up to date on all the new information either. So, you know, you really have to wonder sometimes what these cities are thinking, you know, when they, they just come out here, they start doing this sort of stuff and next thing you know, we've got people, they don't even know what's going on and they're getting fined out the yin yang, okay? It, I, I hate hearing these sort of situations where it seems like, hey, you know, you, you're not giving us a break, you're just completely screwing us over when you change the laws on a dime and we have no clue that there's been a change. So yeah, th this is a crazy story, uh, you know. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me one bit, you know, bureaucracy basically has made everything more difficult. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I'm one of those people who believes in less government, less regulation, less rules, not more. You know, the more rules, the more regulations, the more government, the more hoops we have to jump through. You know what that really means? It means higher rents. That means less people willing to provide housing and housing is just going to be less affordable. OK, so it works in a complete counter to what their supposed goals are. Oh, our goals are to make housing better and more affordable. Well, you're, you're doing the opposite by doing by passing these stupid laws. OK, so before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, you know, I know that a lot of us, we live in places where we have to register our rental properties with the city and, you know, we have to get our properties inspected. And I know this because I have to do it myself here in Omaha. OK, I've had properties inspected and all my rentals are registered with the city as per the law. But, you know, my real question is, you know, how much does this add to the costs that you have to deal with when you're renting out the rental property? Is it significant enough to make your rents go up or you know, are you just eating that on your own, okay? I, I ask this because a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, it's, it's no big deal. It's only a little bit of money. And I'm like, hey, every single penny extra that I am charged, I, I tack that onto my tenant's rent, okay? That's why my rents are so high because I have to jump through all these hoops on top of you know paying the city super high property taxes and everything else involved with running my property. So anyway, uh, let's get into this story. This story is coming from the denvergazette.com and it says, Denver finds a San Francisco man $999 for failing to get a rental property license. Yeah, and like I said, this is an out-of-state investor. He you know, lives in San Francisco and owns a property in the city of Denver. And, you know, let, let's get into the story because, you know, there's uh, some details in here that are important. Denver this week issued the first $999 fine to a San Francisco man who owns a property in the city for failing to obtain a rental license. The city's licensing department first issued a notice of violation on February 24th to, J to Jonathan Schwartz who lives in San Francisco and owns a rental property at 3401 North William Street in Denver. Then came three escalating fines, 
ending with a citation for $999 on August 29th. So in February, they issued a notice of violation and they've already, you know, issued three separate fines to this guy. The most recent one being, you know, basically a thousand dollars. Okay. So, you know, in about, you know, a little over six months, you know, this has gone to where this is. And keep in mind, this is a brand new law. Okay. And no question whatsoever about whether this guy even knows that he got fined or not. You know, it's it just ridiculous. Contacted by the Denver Gazette, Schwartz confirmed he owned the Denver building, but added he didn't know about the notice of the violation or the fines. Yeah, not aware of that, Schwartz said. I would think it would be something that they would have notified me on if that was, in fact, going to be a round of fines. So, yeah, he's saying right there, he never got notified of this, right? So I find it funny that the newspaper can easily find this guy's contact information, give him a call, and, you know, <laughs> be like, hey, you know, uh, you've got all these fines, but the city can't do that. The city, oh, yeah, they're they're you know, probably mailing some old address or maybe they have the wrong address or who knows what the, the situation exactly is, right? But they have no ability to contact this guy. They think he's just being awful. You know what? He probably would comply if he had received notification, okay? Has it ever occurred to them that one, this guy probably isn't managing the property himself. He probably owns it through an LLC and has a property management company that is local. And they are the ones who are supposed to be taking care of, you know, the inspections and making sure everything is right with the city. But if his property manager isn't doing everything they're supposed to be doing and not notifying him of any fines, then, you know... <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the situation is. This, this could be a case of the city screwing up, or it could be a case of a bad property manager, but I'm not seeing it as, hey, you know, this guy is maliciously trying to screw over anybody or break the law, okay? And that's kind of the way that, like, the city is acting like he is just like some garbage landlord. And, you know, to me, it's just telling me that, hey, you know, there's just a, been a breakdown in communication somewhere and that this could probably easily be resolved. Eric Escadero, communications director for the city's Department of Excise and Licenses, said the city has the option of issuing daily fines for $999 and, in extreme cases, a criminal citation where the owner would have to appear in court. The city looks upon fines and citations as a last resort when every effort has been made to get a business owner in compliance with the law, which is why it took more than eight months to get to the point of issuing the third fine citation of $999, Escudero said in an email. The goal is always compliance, and I hope that our agency will not have to issue any fines or citations to achieve compliance with Denver law. So yeah, notice they said criminal citations. So, you know, obviously a landlord getting arrested for not getting his property licensed. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? Yeah, this is the, the stuff I was covering in my original video, okay? Landlords are facing fines and criminal arrest for not getting your property licensed, your rental property. This is so ridiculous. This is so much government overreach. I can't stand this sort of stuff. They're talking about fining people $999 a day for every day that you're not in compliance. You know how ridiculous that is. OK. You know, this is the sort of thing that where, you know, I, I talk about government overreach. I talk about them wanting to control everything you do. Right. This is the reason why, you know, I don't invest in certain places because they have these sort of laws in place where they believe they have more rights to your property than you do. And so I'm going to put all of my money and all of my investment, you know, I'm going to make this huge investment into this property in a city where they treat me like garbage like this? No, of course not. Okay. There's plenty of places where they're much more landlord friendly. Heck, you could probably go to uh, a county right outside of Denver, 
and not even have to deal with any of this nonsense, okay? So, yeah, I feel bad for this landlord who got caught up in their ridiculous mess. And, you know, I'll put a link to the rest of the article in there uh, in my description so that you can read it and, you know, get, get an idea of exactly why this is just, it's just dumb.